Hi, this is Stan Cloyd. Uh, I've been doing a number of experiments on uh, chucks that are uh, cheap, uh, trying to accuratize them. These Chinese chucks came with uh, the instructions. You could clearly see they were very poorly um, translated. And of course, the price was cheap. Uh, one of them I bought on eBay, the other one I bought from Grizzly. Um, the one I bought on eBay had two different problems, an adjustable chuck. I finally worked that out. And then this 8-inch three-jaw scroll chuck I bought directly from Grizzly. It already had the D15 backplate on it, so I didn't have to fabricate that from scratch. Now I'm going to show you that we've got the uh, quill trammed in properly. I won't show you the process of getting it there because it's a son of a gun. Okay, I mic this part of the uh, quill shaft to make sure that it is st straight and not tapered, and it is uh, straight. Now I put the indicator on it to make sure that I got the quill axis uh, collinear with the axis of the lathe. And then as I indicate across this, you can see I just about have her knocked. Okay, that part's done. We tighten her down. Okay, I'm back. Uh, some of the guys I uh, met at the Bar Z Bash in 2019 are very good uh, professionals at using a surface grinder. However, this operation is a little different, so I kind of have to extrapolate what might work. And uh, the accessories that came with the tool post grinder, uh, maybe they work on the big stone, but on the little one I saw no way to use them. So I had to make uh, build a tool post rest uh, strictly for the, the diamond right here. Okay, so we put that in there, tighten it up, and we're ready to cut that stone, true it up. I welded up this tool post out of A36 steel and put a plate under it where it's, it squeezes on the bed way so it doesn't move. Okay, I'm going to come back after I get power to the unit. We're back. I mean, an elite. We're back. Uh, you can see I was a little cheaty. I touched off on the diamond before we got started here. Uh, when this grinder came, it had a black stone on it that was true, so I got pretty good results out of it. But there was no thread locking material of any kind on this arbor nut. And during the last attempt at a video, I broke the stone inside the chuck, did some damage. And so uh, we're getting a new try. But this time, when I mounted a new stone on, I realized it's not even cylindrical. Coming out of the mold where it was centered, it's tapered. It's got a, it's got a casting draft on it. So to get it completely cylindrical to do a good job, it needs to be dressed with a diamond, just like uh, the, better, the more experienced people have done with their surface grinders on the web. There. Now we have a cylindrical stone to start grinding the chuck jaws with instead of a tapered stone. Um, and I used Loctite on this nut, blue Loctite, the second time because I don't want to have that happen again. So uh, I'll bring you back after I've pulled the fixture for grinding the stone. Okay, we're back. I almost jumped ahead of myself and didn't show you what the uh, run out of the item right now is. Uh, when I got this check from Grizzly, it had eight thousands of total indi indicated run out. And I've done a couple of test grinds, but in, in the ones before, I never had the stone crewed up completely on the spindle. So we'll uh, show you how much this one's gotten away of run out right now after already being ground. 
Okay, there's about one. Okay, it's it's one to one and a half thousandths run out. So we'll do another cleanup grind with a true stone and see if we can get that down to less than one. Okay, back again. Uh, I wanted to get fine control of where the stone is and how much a cut is. So I set my compound rest at about six and a half degrees and it's uh, got a graduation of one thousandths. So each one thousandths on that at that ge geometry should give me about a tenth of a, a, a amount of bite, which may be enough resolution to achieve what it is I'm trying to do here. So we'll start the lathe up. We'll, well, we'll first start the spindle. 18,000 RPM, by the way. Start the lathe. Doesn't look like 14. B2. No, that's 360 RPM. Hold on. Okay, I got the right uh, gear in the transmission so that the chuck is spinning at maximum speed and it's spinning the opposite direction from the stone so you get the best velocity you can for any sparks. And yes, I do clean, clean and oil my ways after every operation with a grinder as we did after the diamond nib. So that part is I'm not destroying my ways as fast as I could be. All right, first we're going to turn on the uh, grinder spindle. And we're going to turn on the lathe. I think by sound I might have been taking a cut, but I don't see any color on the stone. So we're going to put the uh, pin in it again and check our total indicated run out. Hold on, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the first cut was not, we weren't engaging enough of it to get a cut. Here I can show you how much sparks I'm getting with what theoretically is one ten thousandths or one tenth of a cut. And for, from other surface grinders, flat surface grinders, you may recognize all this.
Okay, we'll be right back with a pin test. Okay, final shot. I had to grind it two or three times, uh, just a ten thousandths of an inch per pass to get it to where I want it. Um, I, like I said, my other two chucks are good to uh, five tenths. So I know what I can shoot for. In this case, I've got probably six or seven tenths. Uh, but uh, I'll take it because, like I said, when I bought this chuck, it was eight thousandths out. And of course, uh, one of the first things I had to do uh, to be able to repeat it is to put these. Uh, let me see if I can get that in the shot. Put these witness marks in. I got a, a zero on the spindle and I got a zero on the chuck. In other words, every time I mount it up, it's a, it's uh, positioned in the same place. And that also means clean up your D15. Uh, a little anti-seize never hurts as long as you clean it up and uh, I'm going to call that a wrap. So we're going to go to editing and see if we can get this video out to you.